Mistral is trying to become extremely competitive in its APA offering. With a new free APA tier and also a bunch of price cut, Mistral is trying to compete with the legends of this game, for example, like OpenAI and Google. But we are going to compare the price and then see if it is worth it. First of all, there are a bunch of announcements. They released an announcement that says AI in abundance and that also comes with a brand new model from Mistral. But before we discuss about the brand new model, there are three other announcements with Mistral. The first one is on their developer platform. They call it a La Platforme. I'm not sure. I'm not French. On this platform, they have introduced a free tier. Previously, you had to put your credit card and then make sure that you are paying. But now I think they decided that not a lot of people are trying it, which was quite obvious at this point because OpenAI came in and then swooped all the developers. So if you are a de new developer, like let's say console or a, a system, then you need to offer something free for developers to first try out. Grok is doing that. Google Gemini is doing that. So it's, it's a no brainer that Mistral is deciding to do it, but you might argue at the same point, there are companies like fireworks together. AI are not doing it. So we're going to leave that out of the discussion for now. Maybe they've got a better outreach. They've got a lo lot of APIs. It's not a single API endpoint. So, okay, let's leave them out. So free tier plat on la platforming. That's the first thing. Second, they have got a bunch of pricing update. And the final one is they've got the new model, Pixel 12 billion parameter model, the vision capabilities on their chat platform. So this is Lee chat. So if you go to the platform, you can find all these models there. Mistral large two, code still, Mistral Nemo, Pixel. So you can click Pixel and then ask anything that you want. So I've got a very new chess match, which I just lost fresh. So as you can see here, let's take the screenshot of this, send this to this and then ask, can you describe the position? So let's see if it can actually say that it's a checkmated position at this point or even, um, okay. The image shows all these things. Okay. Here is a detailed description of the board and, um, board highlights the square E5 is highlighted with a red cross indicating it's a critical square. No, no boss. I've already been lost, uh, checkmated and lost and uh, possibly where a check or capture is imminent. The square C4 is highlighted with a yellow background, which means that's the latest move suggesting it's a significant move or a position. So that was basically the last move. And then I got checkmated. So it doesn't give me exactly whether it is checkmated. So that is one thing, but I think it does a decent job of OCR. It identifies a player name, like little coder and the opponent that I played and a bunch of other things. Um, but it did not give me the exact, uh, let's say what I expected uh, to say that it has been checkmated. Maybe it doesn't have that information. The point here is that we are not evaluating this, just showing that you can log into chat.mistral.ai, use their new multimodal model or vision language model. One is out of the way. I'll make a separate video on La platform. Eh? So how you can use your API if you were to use the API. But the most important update for Mistral is not the open source model that they've released, but the price cuts that they have introduced. So they have decided that if we were to stay in this game, particularly the game of making money, then they have to cut the price. And as you can see here, a bunch of their models have seen 50%, 33%, 80%. I'm not sure who made this table. They could have just copied the number and then put it for the output tokens as well. That would have made it look better. So initially I actually thought that there is no price cut for output token. Then I had to do the calculation. So, oh, this is 50% cut and this is 50% cut. Maybe it's just me, but I'm just saying that it doesn't hurt you to just mention 50% here. Anyways, the Mistral Nemo, which is, I think the model that they released in partnership with Nvidia. So that is 50% price cut. Mistral Small has got 80% price cut. Codestral has got the coding specific model has got 80% price cut. The Mistral Large is still 2 million, uh, sorry, $2 per million input token. Now, when you see the price cut, you might be like naturally thinking, okay, this is a great thing, but I would like to give you a bad news at this point, or I don't know, depending upon which platform you use, maybe a good news. So if, for example, if you were to take Mistral small or even let's say Mistral Nemo and then compare it with Google flash, Gemini flash or open AI GPT four O mini. So I don't think Nemo is comparable with GPT four O mini. 
but let's say for the sake of discussion you can do that so gpt 40 mini has the same pricing as mistral nemo not the chessboard where i lost so it is it has exactly the same price so output input token which is 0.15 and you can see 0.15 the output is actually very expensive so the output is very expensive here in this case this is still 15 cents but gpt 40 mini is more expensive like four times more expensive but if you compare mistral small which is like more comparable this is 20 cents while gpt 40 mini is just 15 cents and on the other hand the output is 60 cents and this is also 60 cents so kind of makes sense but now if you compare it with google gemini flash which is like kind of the go-to model for a lot of use cases a lot of people are using it for anything that you need faster like faster turnaround faster response lesser rate limit or the the way you see it like higher rate rate limit so for 100 up to 128000 tokens this is just 0.07 so 7.5 cents for 1 million input token and 30 cents for output token and now when you couple this with context caching this price is going to be ridiculously cheaper while mistral is not very competitive but again it could be your preference that you want to use mistral so you could go ahead with this pricing i'm just trying to say that this pricing is not like crushing the competition but it's a very good direction in which they want to be competitive they don't want to be left behind now the other update that we have got here is that they've got a new model which they call mistral small which is technically this model this model has got a new update so you have got like the gsm 8k eight shot comparison math zero shot no cot no chain of thought comparison so you can see that there is like a very minute increase in the accuracy of a mistral small model i think it is currently 22 billion parameter model i guess and um yeah um i'm not i'm i'm not sure like with a lot of good models like for example quen models deep seek models and all the other models i'm not sure if there is a lot of interest in using mistral small at this point this is kind of like somewhere there uh, if you were to use this model you can probably use this model but otherwise this is a model that exists the model has got an upgrade but i think for uh, for uh, for the biggest and, and also in terms of the license the model comes with a non commercial license so you can do your own deployment for non commercial purpose but i think for commercial purpose you cannot use this model that's my understanding so point here is that Mistral is trying to be competitive. The open source model is something that just slotted in as part of the announcement. But otherwise, I think it's a good direction. Uh, it's a good decision in the right direction. And I would love to see more of this uh, from Mistral to see, okay, they are going to be competitive player in this platform. This is a company that we all loved, that we all respect. They've done a lot for open source community, open weights. So we would love to see them succeed. And uh, this is a great a step in that direction so i might probably make more videos to show one pixel 12b which uh, i should be happy that it didn't say that i lost the match so i'm happy and second that we have got a new free tier on lab platform so let's see how we can explore so thanks mr